Keller goes on to say in his book on this topic, if you are sure that this natural world is unjust and filled with evil, then you're assuming the reality of some extra natural or supernatural standard by which to make your judgment. In other words, he's saying simply acknowledging the presence of evil is, is saying that we have to know where good comes from. So you ask, well, can, can God exist if pain and suffering exist? What he's saying is we can't define something as pain or suffering or evil without knowing the goodness of God. That that actually points to the existence of God. The existence of evil and suffering don't mean that God doesn't exist or that he doesn't care or that he's uh, indifferent or anything like that. But this simply isn't a, a, a philosophical argument. This isn't just something that we can hash about in the academic or philosophical arena. This is a question that is far too personal for us. Because too many of us have experienced pain, whether it's personal or you see it on the global level. Maybe, maybe you see it through TV or through the news or through the internet. and You see things that are happening all over the country and all over the world. And you wonder, even as a Christian, even with strong faith, where God is in these moments. 